Hey, um, so I'm just doing this really quick video, um, and it's going to be about this being a prime example of a bad wig. Now, it looks like it would be a very, you know, decent wig, but when I ordered it, <clears throat> this is also another me kind of telling anybody that when you order a wig, and I'm pretty sure you've heard this from a lot of things, you're really taking a big risk on spending money that um, is totally not, like spending a lot of money for something that is totally not worth it. Um, I'm currently picking tiny little white hairs. Now, let me go ahead and explain. I ordered this wig because me and Dana are going to be cosplaying Datera and Sasori. Well, I needed a Datera wig. But all the wigs that I found that were already pre-styled, just I, I didn't have really good feelings about them. And then I found this one with long bangs because that was another thing that I was really looking for was, you know, extra long bangs. Well, these extra long bangs just aren't settling for me. Um, I waited about over a month for this wig. I got four other wigs before this one that I ordered after this one. So that was really irritating. And um, when I got it, when I looked at the picture of it, it was a much darker color. As you can see, this looks almost white. This this literally is white with a little hint of like yellow, but it's pretty much white. Um, it kind of looks silver if you look at it. Um, and normally I wouldn't throw such a big fit about it because I could just use it for something else, an original character, you know, cut it somehow. But there are a lot of things that are just not good about this wig. Like I'm currently untangling constantly and every time I do untangle this and use a wig brush the hair just falls out even when I'm not running my fingers through it the hair just falls out and when you go through the netting on all my other wigs it seemed like there's a couple other layers to kind of hide the netting well in the back you can see the netting when I wear it I don't want people to be able to see the netting in my wig it's very irritating. It's pretty much a very thin wig. For it to be so long, I'm very shocked that they use this. It, I don't know. I'm just very irritated <laughs> because everything, it's just very thin. Where, look at this. I'm just pulling, you can't see it, but I'm just pulling hair. And now my room's covered in it. Um... I'm just, I know that resolution messes with, like, the color of it when you take pictures, but when I looked at this wig, this wig was a lot darker. There is no way that resolution could have made it, made this, what looks white, be almost a dirty blonde. Yeah, very irritating. Very, very irritating. This was, and then also, I went through so much trouble for this wig, which is what drives me even more insane, because this was the only wig that was not delivered to my house. I had to go to the post office and sign my name for this wig. This was the only wig that I had to go through all this trouble to get. Last, first one to have bought, last one to have got, and I had to go get it. I had to go pick it up myself. Not very happy. And it's a very it's very soft, which is what shocks me, which is what I which is why I think it might be falling out so much. It might also just be because it's so thin. I mean there hold on. I mean you can see it. You can see the netting. Especially not so much in the front, but in the back you can really see the netting. You're not supposed to it's supposed to be a wig is, I mean, obviously you're going to know that I'm wearing a wig. My hair's not going to be white. Unless I bleached it. It's not going to be this long, because I don't like long hair. But, and what really irritates me is that I bought all the other wigs for just, you know, 
to mess around kind of cosplay, but this one is actually for a convention. This one's actually for a character that I'm going to a convention as, and it's wrong. It This will not work at all. I was like, maybe, maybe I could, you know, fix it, make it look right, but date, I mean, date it. Okay. Where's date? Date. No, it's not going to work, is it? And it just, I don't know. So pretty much, this is just my way of saying, be very careful when you buy a wig. And when you do, if you have a religion, pray. If you don't, just think about it really hard and hope that it, you know, just hope that you're going to get a good wig. Um, thankfully, well, no, actually. I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, you know, the bidding for this wig was only thirteen fifty. So when I started to buy it, I was like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. It's really cheap. And a lot of the times when you buy a really cheap wig, you get really cheap material. The shipping was insane. I spent $40 on this wig. That's how they get you. That is how they get you. So that's what irritates me, is that the shipping was crazy, and I spent $40 on it, and it's just not worth it. Not worth it at all. But on the upside, I did get these awesome goggles, because I'm going to cosplay Obito too. Um, they need a little work. They need a little, they need to be cleaned, and I think I'm going to paint paint this because it's it's not it's kind of yellow because they're old you know they're actually they actually belong to somebody and it needs a new thing but pretty much I think they're pretty good what do you think let's see I think it's on crooked they are you no know. Yeah, that's them. They do look like they're on Crooked, don't they? I think I just sit Crooked. I really do. Okay, so those are good. This is not. Sadly, and sadly, I'm not going to be cosplaying Obito at the convention, which with him I would get to use my own hair. But um, which could be a bad thing. And a good thing at the same time. But this is ran on to like, you know, almost eight minutes. But here's the end of it. Don't buy bad wigs. Be very careful when you buy a wig. All right. Bye, everybody.